There are rare peripheral neuropathies. They come in thousands of forms and are not caused by diabetes, alcohol, or chemotherapy treatments. They have a lot of symptoms in common, but they have very different etiologies. For some rare peripheral neuropathies, etiology isn't even clear. Therefore, their diagnosis is very difficult. Because the causes for the peripheral neuropathies are so many, the diagnosis can be quite tricky. And there are sometimes uh, huge delays in the diagnosis. Um, we still have in between 20 and 40 percent of patients that remain uh, undiagnosed, even in the best centers uh, in the world. There are lots of causes for the peripheral neuropathies, and if we don't think about those causes, we will never make made a diagnosis. It's important to think rare peripheral neuropathies early in the diagnosis process. They fall mainly into two categories, hereditary and acquired. Most acquired peripheral neuropathies are treatable, so it's crucial to get the diagnosis right. You should consider that it's really important to reach a diagnosis because the treatment of the neuropathies mostly relies on the treatment of the cause of that neuropathy. So it's essential that you don't miss a patient with a possibly treatable neuropathy. The general practitioner is often the first person patients tell about their symptoms. For that reason, raising awareness of rare peripheral neuropathies among general practitioners is critical to improve diagnosis delays. Uh, A general practitioner is the person who manages patient medical records and has a more holistic and comprehensive view of each of their patients' health status. In fact, they are the great defenders and advocates of their patients, in the sense that they are aware of other facets of their patients that may condition both diagnosis and treatment, and, in short, all medical decisions.